because dozens are reported dead after an Israeli strike on a Gaza school. Of course, it's, it's very difficult to know what is actually happening inside Gaza because of uh, the fact that there are so few journalists there and also because uh, Hamas terrorists are the ones who put the information out and of course we can't rely upon that information but we do know that there has been a strike, we do know that uh, many many people have died and Haggai Matar is a journalist at 972 Magazine based in Tel Aviv. Haggai, um, what are we being told by both sides because as, as night follows day Hamas terrorists will say one thing and the Israeli army will say something else. Well, the army always put these uh, statements out where it basically says, we attacked terrorists. Now, they don't even claim to explain who was actually killed. They're saying, we were aiming at terrorists, there were terrorists over there, we were aiming at them. Um, that's all the proof they're offering, that's all the information they're offering. Um, you know, on the other side, we're, right now, I have not yet seen any information about um, a breakdown of the casualties, um, how many are said to be uh, militants, how many civilians, uh, but still there are clearly a lot of civilians there. This is a place where we know the civilians were taking uh, refuge. Uh, the images coming out are absolutely horrifying. Um, and, and I think this is just another example of how devastating this war is, how lethal it is and, and why we need to put a stop to it really. Israel is saying that uh, that Hamas terrorists are, were operating within a command and control centre embedded in the Al Tabin school located adjacent to a mosque in the Darish Tufa, which serves residents as a shelter for uh, as serves as a shelter for the residents of Gaza City. Uh, do, is this the sort of thing that Hamas terrorists have done on numerous occasions, which is using schools, hospitals, and various other uh, areas within Gaza to have their operational control? Because then, if they are attacked, they can say you've attacked a school, you've attacked a hospital, which is of course factually true, but nonetheless. The Israel will say, of course, well, we attacked it because terrorists were there. Well, first of all, we know that there are cases where it is the case that Hamas would embed itself among civilians. There are other cases that we know that Israel has claimed for that to be the case and ended up not being true. Um, but I think more importantly, there are two underlying questions. And one is the one of international law. And there is a very serious question of whether or not just the mere fact that there are people associated with Hamas in this location, does that justify any Israeli action? Does that allow Israel to kill dozens of civilians? Uh, international professionals and uh, professionals in international law will say no, it does not allow Israel to take such disproportional action. But then the other underlying question is, um, what is Israel trying to gain here? The, the statement, there are people from Hamas there. So what i mean that there are uh, well, they, want, they want to kill hamas people. terrorists that's their stated aim in this in this war isn't it yes but the question is what is israel gaining what is we've been doing this for 10 months now hamas members are being killed other people are joining hamas what is the end goal where are we going 10 months in Everything is getting worse on all fronts. Uh, Israel is definitely not better off in any sense. It's just worse off than it was uh, on October 7th in so many different ways. Um, Palestinians are dying in, in a terrible rate. And where is this leading? So another attack, killing more people, Hamas, more people will join. Israel refuses to discuss a ceasefire in any meaningful way, uh, refuses to find any other solution than the military solution. I mean, they would argue that Hamas uh, are, are uh, also refusing to discuss a ceasefire in any meaningful way as well. It does seem a far way off uh, any re resolution to this conflict. Um, actually, Hamas and its allies have been more open to a ceasefire. Hamas has been demanding to end the war, basically. Well, they, um, could, end it, they could end it today by giving back the hostages. And they're willing to do so within a ceasefire agreement, uh, which Israel refuses and does not allow the hostages to come back because of that. Uh, it's been very, very troubling for many people. The majority of Israelis think that the Israeli government should sign an agreement to end the war and get the hostages back. But the Israeli government wants to continue the war and is therefore giving up on the hostages. OK, uh, Haggai, thank you for your analysis there. That's Haggai Matar, who's a journalist at 972 Magazine.